me talk to him. Listen. My little homie, he ain't worth a lick. I just keep him on my side for that silly shit. Hundred thousand in my mouth got me giggling. And you need a gun, cause this rap game no killing me. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is gonna be my intro. This is currently after my first week of nursing school. Not nursing school, girl, what are you talking about? Nursing orientation um, at my hospital. And I just kind of wanted to go back and do a little bit of nursing Q&A. Um, I had people ask me some questions that I never got around to answering. So I just want to start the video off with that. So yeah, we'll just get right into it. So the first question was, why did you choose to pursue nursing school? And personally, that was always my career path from when I was younger. I grew up around nurses. My aunt was a nurse. My grandma was a CNA. Like, you know, I just grew up around people who were working in the healthcare industry. So that was just something I was always interested in. My major in undergrad was originally nursing. But, you know, um, I was a, a fresh off the house new new college student um not having my mama breathing down my neck sorry mom i know you probably watching this but it was just like a lot of freedom that i was not used to and so i'm not going to say that was the main excuse for why i wasn't focused and able to get into the nursing program in undergrad but that was one of them i just didn't take the schooling as serious as i should have and although i thought that i was doing good and like the advisor that i had was making me feel as though I would be okay as far as going to the program. When it came time to actually apply for the program, I was not allowed to um, do it because my nursing GPA was lower than expected. And that was due to me failing the class and then retaking. And I didn't know that they count the one that you failed as well as the one that you retake. So that threw me off. And then because I was young minded and in a rush to graduate, I ended up switching my major to biology and then saying, okay, well, I could still, you know, go the healthcare route and do PA school when I graduate my undergrad. And yeah, COVID hit and everything else hit and I just did not keep up with that um, that journey. So around like 2020, towards the end of 2020, the beginning of 21, I was looking into going to PA schools and I was also looking into different programs that would allow me to get to where I wanted to be. And then I came across the school that I went to, which was Bernal University. They had just started a entry level master's of nursing degree. So, well, a degree program. So I ended up um, applying for that program, taking the necessary tests and doing the necessary prerequisites and the rest is history. I graduated from there in May of this year and I passed my NCLEX in June. So everything worked out. Um, your story is your story. That's one thing I do realize that um, after the first week of nursing uh, orientation, we all have a story. Everybody started somewhere and now we're here. Like everybody's path was not the same. And I can test it's not always going to be easy for somebody, but if it's something that you really want to do, I say that you keep going and keep trying to make it to, you know, becoming the nurse that you want to be. So anyways, next question. Okay, so question number two, tips about tips for people who are thinking about going to nursing school. What I would say is um, just be prepared to do a lot of prerequisite, prerequisite, that word always trips me up. Be prepared to do some prerequisite classes or um, like an entry test to get into your program. I'm not sure if they change things, but I did have to take an entry test and I did have to take some prerequisites before I could um, start the program that I went through. And also I would say it's good to have a good support system. I know people that have gotten through nursing school without a support system, but it just makes it a lot harder when you don't have people, you know, that can help you out. So yeah, just make sure you have a good support system. Just make sure that you know that your priority is nursing school. So when your friends call you and be like, hey, let's go out, do this, this and that, you can't do as much as you used to. I, granted, there are some nursing students who can do that and kudos to you, praise to you that you know that you can do that and get that done. But some people cannot focus and keep their grades up and still 
to party and all that type of stuff. So if you know, you know what type of student you are, what type of person you are. And if that's the type of person who cannot have any distractions that they have to, you know, study and be on top of their work, then I would say make sure you buckle down. It's temporary. It's not lasting forever. Once you buckle down now, you'll be able to enjoy your life later. That's what I will say. Another thing is friends are key. I met two amazing people when I started nursing school and they're still my friends now. And I would just say that they helped me through a lot of hard times. We helped each other through a lot of hard times. We helped each other study. It was just a lot of support that was really necessary when you're going through the whole journey of nursing school. So I will say that get you a good study group, friend group, whatever. So somebody you can lean on during that time period and who really can understand and help you through. So yeah. So third question, can you work while you're in nursing school? Me? I did not, but I know people who did. And like I said before, you gotta know yourself and your study habits and what you can handle. Because it is possible to work while you're in nursing school, it's just gonna be a lot to juggle. You have to be able to properly time manage um, your studies and what you have to handle at home. Because I know it's not feasible for some people to not have a job while in nursing school because they have families and bills and all this to pay for. I was fortunate enough to not have to work um, while I was in nursing school, but it is possible. I will say it is possible. Question number four was, um, what program did I do? And I already told you guys before, it was the entry level masters of nursing program at Brown University. It was a fairly new program. We are accredited. Um, it's a private school, so it's pretty expensive for people who are looking to get into that program. But I feel like it was definitely well worth it. But I will say that they prepared us appropriately compared to you know what I've seen so yeah I will say um I was pretty prepared and I'm glad that I chose the school that I chose to but it was expensive okay and question number five this is my last question because I don't want to make this too long um are the tests hard and how do I study so honestly the tests are not hard if you study the appropriate way and it took me a minute to find the the right way for me to study because i'm gonna be honest in undergrad i did not study for real like nursing school would teach you really how to study so um in the beginning of nursing school i did have a little struggle i did have to retake a class because you know i was kind of uh, struggling to keep up but once i figured out the best way for me to study it was like A's, 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 A's. I really wasn't doing bad after I just figured out the best way for me. And the best way for me is writing from memory and doing a whole bunch of questions. That was the best way for me. Um, writing from memory was me recalling the information that I either read or heard from a lecture. And that's just making sure that I understand the information because if you're just reading a textbook or looking at notes, you're not really reading to understand. You wanna make sure you understand it though. So recalling from memory and going section by section was easier for me to retain the material. So for example, like subjects like pharmacology, um, it was best to break down the drugs to their classes. And we had these little diagrams that we used to use that had the class, um, the common signs and symptoms, uh, is that the right word, signs and symptoms, adverse effects, the common contraindications, like those things that we wanted to make sure we knew, that was the only way to really remember everything that you needed to remember without having to remember every single drug. If you knew this drug class and you knew these certain things about this drug class, nine times out of 10, you will be able to answer the question appropriately because you know the basic information. And that was just for pharmacology, but for other classes as well, it was just best for me to group things and then write from memory. And then I did a lot of practice questions. Um, and a lot of practice questions definitely help for the NCLEX as well. So I will definitely tell y'all to do that. But yeah, that's all the questions I have for now. Um, as you'll see in the next few clips, I will be talking to you guys about my first week as a nursing resident at my hospital. So yeah, keep watching this video. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Monday, July 17th, and I am currently headed to my first day of residency orientation. 
today is my first day and we only gonna be there for he said approximately an hour gonna get our orientation credentials and then evidently whatever else we have to do will be virtual for the day they already sent out our schedule for the 10 week <clears throat> orientation program so already have an uh, guesstimate of everything that i'll be doing they'll probably be switching stuff here and there like locations this that and third i have all of that so today is kind of like a i guess a pretty chill day because i'm not going to be there the whole time so i just thought i would take y'all with me as i go through this new process i'm going through it and i'm going to take y'all with me let's see how today goes i'm not going to tell y'all where i work i am a nurse just passed my NCLEX in uh, June. For those of y'all who don't know, I graduated in May um, with my master's in nursing. And uh, yeah, this is my first nursing job. So let's see how this goes. I originally wanted to be in the NICU for my first job, but circumstances didn't allow for that to happen. I'm just, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So. Right now, I'll be working on an ortho surgical floor. So just taking everything um, and learning all the skills that I can that may could possibly help me in the future. I'm just gonna go with it. So I'll come back on here a little bit later. I don't know how much I can film in the hospital, but I definitely will come back and update y'all on what's going on. So, bye. All right, so hey y'all, I have officially completed day one of my R residency orientation and <laughs> granted, day one was very short. Honestly, we really came in for like an hour. I had to be there at 7.45. We really didn't get started till about 8, 8.15. Um, when we got there, we were given our folders. It had our login credentials, um, our parking badge and information. Um, our badge, our ID badge, um, what else it had, like some more information about payroll benefits, um, information about the different login portals that we have to use, information about benefits, and then like two papers that we had to sign as the HR people to take, and we also had our job description we had to sign, um, and then basically they taught us how to log into everything, make sure everything was secure, different apps we can use for login purposes, just changing those passwords from the generic that they had already created for us and creating our own personal passwords. And then they sent us home with, uh, I think it's like four modules that we have to have completed by tomorrow at five. I'm gonna go ahead and complete them because they are paying us for an eight hour shift, even though um, we haven't, we weren't there for a full eight hours. They're paying us for a full eight hours. So that's a plus and I'm not upset about that at all. So um, like these are the two folders that I have. The second folder is like the information for our corporate nursing orientation, which is on Wednesday and Thursday. Pretty sure those days are gonna be long. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go in the house and work on those modules and just chill because who don't want to get paid to sit at home and really not do a thing probably come back on here tomorrow as i'm preparing i have to be there till nine tomorrow so that's a plus but it's still like crazy traffic around that time in the morning so i'll have to leave enough time for that and i'm supposed to be there for four and a half hours tomorrow so that's what 10 11 12 1 so I guess we'll be leaving about 1.30, 1, 1 1.30, 2 o'clock around that time, unless, you know, we go over a little bit. It's exciting. I don't really know anything about the floor that I'm going to be working on. I don't even know. I've seen one of my coworkers, I believe. They were calling out names, and I know the people that are working on the floor with me. And, um, yeah, she was an older lady, so I'm not really sure if there's anybody my age on that floor, I hope so. But yeah, I really have no idea of what to expect going onto this floor, to be honest. And I really don't like that, but we're just gonna go with it, like I told y'all before. But yeah, I'm finna go in the house and work on these modules and just chill for the rest of the day. I'm excited for y'all to come with me for this week because like I said, this is new for me and for those of you who haven't, 
um, been in nursing before or just getting into nursing, about to graduate, whatever, we're going on this journey together so y'all can know, you know, kind of like what it's like as a new nurse. So yeah, we excited, but we also nervous at the same time. So I'll come back on here tomorrow and update y'all on what's going on. Hi y'all, good morning. It is day two of, um, nursing orientation and I'm kind of I'm not running late but I need to go ahead and get going so I want to make this quick fast in a hurry today I'm have to be there at nine we're supposed to be there for about four and a half hours this is another HR orientation so I don't really know what this is going to consist of probably not anything like focused on nursing probably just getting oriented to the hospital that I'm working at I have to be there at nine like I said I'm gonna leave my house now and yeah hopefully we have a good day um i'm kind of tired uh i didn't get that much rest last night so hopefully it's a good day and i'll come back and talk to y'all and let y'all know how today went all right hey y'all so i am back it is currently like 2 30 i think i have been out of work for about 45 minutes to an hour and day two was cool. So day two basically was just another HR orientation day. We literally only, um, we got there at nine and we sat there and listened to different speakers. Speakers that talked today were the director of health equity and the risk management director, the compliance director, the um, public safety director, the director of the foundation of the hospital, um, and a few other speakers spoke about just like different facilities and directors. I mean, not directors, different facilities and uh, groups, what do you call it, that they have in the hospital to make sure the hospital runs effectively. Um, so that was just pretty much all day. They provided us with breakfast and they also provided us with lunch. We had Jason's Deli for lunch and then for breakfast they had like fruit bagels, muffins, um, granola bars, some drinks like apple juice, water, Coke, Sprite, coffee, and chips. Like they had different stuff, but it was basically just us listening to lectures all day. Got there, they scanned our badge. I guess that's how they're clocking our attendance and hours and stuff. And they told us about what to do moving forward because tomorrow starts our corporate nursing orientation that's from 8 to I think 4 30 or 5 one of the two so I'll be there all day tomorrow as well tomorrow will probably be more talking about the stuff we're gonna actually be doing as far as nursing so yeah I'm excited but I'm also like ready to get it over with because I just, that whole lecturing stuff, I just don't. It's so boring and just drags, drags. Tomorrow we get breaks and lunch as well. So hopefully tomorrow's a good day. I have to find me some new shoes. During nursing school, I was wearing, I wore a few different shoes, but lately I have been wearing the Nike Air Max 90. It was some black ones because we did wear black scrubs, but I really don't want to wear black sneakers here but I might have to because I wore my gray vapor max today and when I tell you my feet are hurting and all I did was sit down I walked from the parking deck to the building and then anytime I walk around like my feet just hurt so I don't know yeah I'm gonna have to get some different shoes for work because this is not gonna work for me um, as far as parking and stuff everything went smoothly I have to park in this parking deck that's kind of far from the building and I don't like that but it was cool, cool day two. So I'm gonna go in the house, take these clothes off. I'm probably gonna take a shower. Anytime I go into the hospital and come home, I really just like to take a shower and just decompress. I kind of have a little headache, so I might be taking a nap, but I don't know. Cause I don't wanna take a nap and then be up all night. I might take a little nap cause it's still kind of early in the day. But yeah, so day two was a success. I will come back on here tomorrow to show y'all day three. It's not really much to show y'all in the hospital. I can't do so much filming as far as that goes, but I am just making sure to update you guys on what's going on. 
because like I said, this is new for me and probably new for some of y'all. So we're gonna go through this together. So I'll see y'all tomorrow on day three. Hey y'all, it is, um, I think it's like 420. It is Thursday, July the 20th. I'm on my hair. I look really crazy because I need to do my hair and it's a mess. But today I just completed day four of um, the first week of nursing residency at the hospital I'm working at. I didn't record yesterday because yesterday was pretty much, you know, the same thing as Tuesday. Um, it was our first day of corporate nursing orientation, but it's just a lot of information being given to us. Uh, basically about the fundamentals of the hospital, um, the fundamentals of how you should be as a nurse at our at our hospital. Um, just a lot of different information as far as the different departments. Well, I shouldn't say departments, or is that the correct word to use? We talked about pharmacy system, medication safety, workplace violence, hospice, risk management, ethical care, um, stop the bleed, medical affairs, just different stuff of that nature. Um, and that was it for today. Tomorrow is a virtual day. That's the day where they have stayed, um, listed for us to do like our training online. So like our different CBLs um, and different learning modules and the assessments that we have to have done, we'll be doing that tomorrow during our eight hour shift so that we do get that full 40 weeks. Um, I'm sorry, get that full 40 hours. That's pretty much it for this week. Next week will be a little bit more interactive and we'll actually start doing different things, but we still won't be, you know, on the floor working with a nurse. We do have two days where we shadow a nurse, but I'm pretty sure we'll be just shadowing. They might allow us to do different things. Um, I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, so it's pretty much just a whole bunch of training information given to us right now. So, um, I'm excited to see where it goes. So, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, concerns, tips, please leave those in the comment section below. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cut though, we stealing it. Cut though, we illin' shit. All hunters have a million it. At the bitch with a pill in it. Free oomph, we're pillin' it. Yeah, bitch, we're pillin' it. Hundred rounds on the Draco spread, put the ass way to the